Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This evening, I don't have a cooking video for you. I'm going to be just sharing. This is a sharing video. I want to show you the little um, check mix that I mix up for. Um, I'm mixing up for the uh, holidays coming in Thanksgiving because this is more of a a fall mix and I'll be mixing one up for the, for uh, Christmas and I'll probably show you that but this is what I call a little fall check mix my daughter sent me the little recipe that uh, I have out for guests coming over at Thanksgiving it's not something that I would give to kids at uh, th uh, Hall uh, Halloween or anything not that I celebrate it but uh I wouldn't give that to kids. I wouldn't want them to get the notion that it's okay. Unless it is my family members, my family and close friends and stuff. That I wouldn't want them to think that that was okay to take that kind of stuff from people because not everybody's nice. But um, this is a little fall mix that I'm going to have out. And when family and friend or guests come over, they can I have little old bitty um, disposable bowls. They can just uh, get them a bowl full of it and just enjoy it. So uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a demonstration on how I mix it up, but I will tell you, and if you like it, uh, you're interested in it, you leave me a comment and ask me to uh, uh, do a video on it and demonstrate it, I will be glad to do that, but I don't know when I'll uh, be able to do it. It won't be just, you know, no time, I mean, right now, but I'll just put up a video on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and just get the um, bags of stuff that I use in this little delicious delicious check mix and tell you what I use and how I mix it up real quick. Hold on just a second. Okay. This here is just a little scoop. This is not the scoop. I got a smaller scoop. That's what I'm going to use to, um, for the people to come with it, you know, to scoop it out when they get ready to serve them something. But um, this is what I have in the mix. I have, you're supposed to have like a regular size, regular size bag of Reese's Pieces. That was a little bigger size. I got on sale, so I didn't put them all in. And this here is the uh, marshmallow, marshmallow pumpkins. Did you get that uh, Reese's Pieces? You always tell me I'm going too fast. <laughs> okay, you got it. Okay. And this here is just like the um, rate 7.5 ounce bag of bugles. You need one of those. One of those bag of marshmallow pumpkins, and um, these are some of the these are classic candy coins that everybody's talking about putting down so bad. But I love my candy coins, and I'm gonna continue to eat my candy coins. And when I fix something a uh, little dish like this, I'm gonna put my candy coins in it. I love candy coins; they've been around ever since I've been around, and probably before the year. You got it. You finished? Okay. And you're going to need four cups of these tiny twist pretzels. I'm trying to hold this up right, you guys. My husband I always say I don't put it up there right and where you can see or whatever. Okay. That's what you're going to need. That's, that's the uh, stuff that goes in the mix. But let me tell you this real quick and then I'm going to get ready to uh, end this video. Um, you take the uh, wait. Oh, one thing I forgot to get show you. Okay, you're gonna need a regular size box. This is a family size box, but you're gonna need just a regular size box of the rice chicks. Regular size box of rice chicks cereals. Rice chicks cereals. Okay, let's put this back out of the bag. So let me tell you how easy it is to do. You're also going to need, uh, I use, it says three-fourth cup, but I use one cup of light brown sugar and um, 
three fourths of a cup of melted butter, used pure butter, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you're gonna need to melt your butter in the microwave and then uh, put your brown sugar and vanilla in it. And uh, was that your stomach? And uh, you know, stir it and incorporate that in round together. And then you're gonna need to take all your, your cereals and your pretzels, your cereals, your pretzels, and your bugles. You're gonna mix them in a big bowl and then you're gonna drizzle that mixture you mixed up. Don't put your can in there because this stuff gonna have to go in the oven. So you put that, you mix it in there, you put uh, some parchment paper on a baking sheet and spread it out on there real good after you don't after you done drizzled that little mixture on there. I'm telling you, this stuff is really good. And then you uh, put it in your oven on 275 and uh, let it bake for 45 minutes. But stir it at every, stir it every uh, 15 minutes. You know, just give it, go in and just give it a, a light stir. And you know, you won't, don't want to tear up or damage and break them up or whatever. And you do that for, um, you know, like I say, you bake them in that, that 275 degree oven for 45 minutes. Then take them out and let them cool and mix them back in a big old bowl or pan or whatever you got, you're gonna mix it in. And after it cools, you just go right in and put your candies in. That's when you put your Reese's, your pumpkins, and your candy corn. And you know, I don't have to tell you, you make this dish your own. Any other kind of little candies or whatever you want in there, go for it. This is your dish and you make it your own or, or create something new. That's all about cooking. Once you do, once you get the basis of something, you come in and make it. You personalize it and make it your own. Okay, I'm gonna show you the inside of that jar real quick. Just in case you can't see, I decorated the little jar, but that's the mix on the inside. And I tell y'all, it's, it's delicious. And when you be baking up that um, those cereals and the bugles and presses in the oven it has your house with the best smelling aroma it smells so good that that vanilla really has it smelling good baking in that oven like that on the, in that mixture but, uh, that's all i can tell you about that little this little uh mix i wanted to share with you and uh i thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you in my next video and remember, if you hadn't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you don't, you ain't even got to give me nothing. You ain't got to <laughs> just pass it over and uh, leave me a comment. Appreciate you watching. And bye, you guys.